Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Uh, I'm going to be doing another bracket here. This is going to be a uh, just a strategy for you guys um, to use when you do your bracket. Uh, it, it is it works out uh, pretty well. It's, it's a good idea to do this. It allows you to have a little bit more of a unique bracket uh, opposed to having one that uh, is more... Oh, how do I want to put this? More centralized, I guess. A little bit uh, more... What am I trying to say? More generic. There we go. More generic to the general public. So here's how we're going to do this. We will go bracket. We'll go uh, region by region and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so first what I want to start out with is you want to pick, this is how I do it. You want to pick your Elite Eight teams. Okay, so you want to pick the two teams you have going to the Elite Eight. For me, that's Villanova and Kansas. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and move them right there. Okay, so what that allows you to do is in the 8-9 matchup, it's not as much of a big deal. Um, just pick whoever, really whoever you want. Um, like I like UConn, so let me pick UConn. Um, and I like Temple Born Iowa, so let me pick Temple. Okay, so it puts a little bit less pressure on getting that game correctly. That's a little bit different because it's... It, It'll get more detailed as we go on, but now you want to pick the team that you have playing in the Sweet 16. So for me, it is Wichita State there, and here it is going to be Maryland, which now allows you to look at this and be, do you want an upset? So I think, you know, I think Hawaii has a good shot. So let me go ahead and pick Hawaii. It allows for a little bit of a different look. Um, to your bracket uh if you don't if you go one by one conventional wisdom is going to tell you go with cal if you do it like this you're only losing a possible 10 points so why not take a little bit of a risk and go with hawaii okay down here miami buffalo i don't really like buffalo so we're going to roll miami uh, to the next round we're obviously going to save the last and final bracket i think till thursday hopefully they'll allow you to still make brackets all the way up to Thursday. Um, I'll find out, um, I guess, tonight as soon as the game tips off it. I believe it's 7. Uh, so we will find out then. Um, but this will help me a little bit better if I know who's won Vandy or Wichita State and Michigan Tulsa. It'll just help me a little bit more than, uh, than how it has. But uh, there you go. You get to your Final Four. Um, you can come up with a little bit more upsets. There's a little bit better um, coming up here. So Going on to who your uh, Elite Eight teams are. So we've got North Carolina and we've got West Virginia uh, in the uh, in the Elite Eight, which now allows me to go here and why not pick Michigan Tulsa over Notre Dame? Um, it, it's something that could happen. It's viable option, so we'll go ahead and do that. This isn't as big. The eight nine matchups aren't as big. Uh, don't worry about those. Just just pick who you think will win or who you like. Uh, those aren't as big of a game. Um, now, obviously, you want to now go ahead and do the Sweet 16. I have kind of jumped off Indiana. We're going to Kentucky uh, to the Sweet 16. Um, so why not take uh, Chattanooga with the upset? I mean, you know, just have some fun with this. I have Xavier going to the Sweet 16. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and pick Pitt. Uh, but see, now you've got a few upsets in each of your uh, brackets, and they're not too risky uh, per se. You're not um, risking a team that you believe. You're not risking um, a team that you have going any distance, uh, and um, you're really only risking about 10 points, which in all honesty is not that big of a deal in the scheme of things. Uh, come down here to the bottom, and we'll go ahead and do the Midwest. I have Michigan State in the Elite Eight facing off against Iowa State, so go ahead and just move those all. I have a feeling Iowa State's going to get beat by Iona, and my whole bracket is going to look like garbage after day one. Do they play on day one? Hold on. I need to go through here. They play, no, they play Friday. Um, wait, what the heck? Wait, why are we... Go back. Go back around. How do I go back around? Here we go. Do they play... Where are they? Um... Friday 318... Okay, no, they play Thursday. So my bracket... Yeah, my bracket can get ruined on day one. Great. What, what time do they play? Does it have a time there for me? To know when I... No, it doesn't have a time. I bet it has a time if I do it this way. 
2 p.m., so pretty darn early, Iona could beat Iowa State, and my whole bracket could be obliterated. So we might go with a safer pick in the final bracket. But now, see, why not roll with an Arkansas Little Rock? I believe they're 29-4 and on the season. I uh, have a pretty nice record. You can roll with Arkansas Little Rock and have a little consequence. Um, then we can move. I'm going to have Seton Hall playing... Uh, Michigan State in the Sweet 16, which means I could take a flyer for Fresno State, but we're not. We're going to take Utah, obviously down here. Go ahead and take Syracuse. Um, I'm going to have Virginia playing Iowa State reluctantly, but we're going to have it, and then you can move on Texas Tech. Um, and if you if you see what this is doing, it allows you to you know have a little bit of free reign with the upsets and um, allows you to... Um, it allows you to pick some upsets without risking too much. The risk reward is is minimal, and uh, I, I guess it's not minimal, but the risk reward is is less than it would be uh, if you go down one by one. Because the re the risk just mentally the re the risk seems a little bit higher when you pick big upsets. Um, when you pick big upsets. Uh, when you're going round by round, but if you advance the teams who you like to make it to the to the lead, a it kind of chops the bracket down a little bit, and then you're just picking one game series worth few to no points really. Um, so you can go ahead and move Oregon State and St. Joe's on. Um, now go ahead and do the Sweet 16 again. Obviously, I've got Baylor in the Sweet 16, and I have Northern Iowa in the Sweet 16. I've I've moved off of Green Bay. Once again, I'm still going to have Green Bay with the upset over A&M, but I have moved on from Green Bay in the Sweet 16 and moved on to Northern Iowa. I did a little research on Carrington Love. I like him a little less than I did before, and I did some research on Northern Iowa, and I like them a little bit more than I did before, so um, I've hopped on to Northern Iowa instead of Green Bay. And um, we'll go with UNC Wilmington. Why not? Um just go ahead with a little bit of an upset there. Uh, there usually is a bracket where a lot of things are just blown up and not how you think they should be. And that's what I'm doing with this Texas, Texas A&M. Everybody expecting the uh, Texas, Texas A&M rivalry tournament time. Uh, but I, I don't think either of them advance. I'm going to go with neither of them advancing. I like Carrington Love and I like Northern Iowa uh, to pull the upsets. Uh, so we'll go back up the top here, and uh, now it gets to really, who do you think, who do you want to go, and we're going to roll Villanova, Villanova, West Virginia, and we're going to roll Michigan State, Oklahoma. So we've got uh, we've got Villanova, Oklahoma, Michigan State, and West Virginia. No number one seeds this time. Uh, this isn't my official bracket. I know someone's going to say eh, something about that, but this isn't my official bracket. We're only on bracket 7 out of probably 13 if they allow for me to have more than... Um, if I'm... or not more. If they allow me to create brackets after um, these first four games, because I, I really hope they do. Um, otherwise, I'll probably be cut at like seven or eight brackets, which would be kind of, which would suck. Um, but uh, Villanova, Oklahoma, this is my dream Final Four matchup. Um, that's why I keep picking it. Um, I don't know if I'll I'll actually roll with it in the final. It might be Kansas, Oklahoma here in the rematch, but I, I haven't decided yet. If this matchup would happen, I'd be so happy. I'd even... I would probably consider buying a ticket to go see it, uh, to go to Houston. I have an uncle who lives in Dallas. He let me stay there, um, and then I would be happy with either of them going to the national. I'd probably buy tickets to both the Final Four games and the Natty, uh, but obviously that has to happen. Um, I, I do have so I have some money set aside specifically for sports tickets. Like I said, I set like twenty bucks aside on my paycheck every week for sports tickets, as well as just different other odd jobs. If I do and get extra money, then I probably put it somewhere. They they go somewhere. So sometimes it goes to sports tickets. So I do have money set aside for the possible chance of me buying national championship tickets. But let's go Villanova, West Virginia, and for the first time. First bracket here. Let's have West Virginia win it all. We'll have a different winner in all seven of our brackets. We've got we've got the Oklahoma in the first, Villanova second, third, the holding chalk one, Oregon, North Carolina in the breakdown bracket, uh, and trying to be non-offensive to 
the biggest fans, um, Kansas. Uh, and the favorite teams won Michigan win was over Villanova just because I already had Villanova. And we'll go West Virginia in this one. I guess we will start having more looking Oklahoma, Villanova, uh, Oregon brackets in these next six. Um, we'll, we'll start having repeats. But this was just a strategy bracket, just giving you an idea of how I how I um how you uh, just an idea for strategy maybe i'll look up and see if i can figure out or come up on my own with any more strategies for you guys this is how i tend to do my bracket it's more important to try to pick your elite eight than trying to get the first round right um you should worry about figuring out who you have for your elite eight and then go ahead and try to do some upsets have some exciting upsets do different stuff like that have an enjoyable bracket where you can root for some of the smaller teams you're not always rooting for the top teams uh, have a fun bracket like I have. You know, I have Northern Iowa in the Sweet 16. We've got a Seton Hall in the Sweet 16 as a six seed. Um, that's about, we got a Wichita State in the in the Sweet 16. Um, but that is gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll probably have a video if Wichita State goes down. I believe they play Vandy tonight. If Wichita State goes down, I will make a separate video if it allows me to change up my bracket because I don't think I think Vanderbilt can beat Arizona, but I will have Miami advancing to play Villanova then if Wichita State goes down. Uh, so just keep that in mind and uh, look out for that video if you see Vandy go down. We'll do a little adjusting to the bracket. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. That's gonna do it for this one. We've got uh, West Virginia being. Villanova in the in the national championship uh, by a score of well, let's do a low score in one 62 to 55. Uh, so that is going to do it for this video, guys. We got West Virginia this time. Uh, the brackets will start to have a more cohesive winner as we go on. Still really torn between Oklahoma and Villanova. I will probably go Oklahoma because it's a little bit safer than Villanova. Um, if you're wondering why I do that, it's because a lot of people are going to have Kansas, Kentucky, North Carolina, Michigan State. Um, and but so I just want to vary a little bit. You may see an Oregon thrown in here in these next six brackets, but we will see. We will see how it goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if the strategy helps you out, and if you'd like to see me maybe do a different strategy um, uh, video. Maybe I don't submit the bracket. I'll just uh, clear the bracket, and then I, I, probably on the 13th bracket we can just keep clearing it and not submit it. And I can show different strategies and stuff like that. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.